What's happening YouTube? So today I'm going to share with you how to take off the side mirror caps and how to pull off this mirror to get to the side mirror caps. Three things you're going to need are the first one, it's going to be a flathead screwdriver, um, maybe a microfiber towel, and your hands. And then some patience. You don't want to rush this because as some of these parts are kind of fragile and you don't want to pop any caps. The first thing you're going to want to do is to turn the mirror all the way so that this part is exposed. You can actually fit your hand into it. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to put your hand here and actually pull back slowly on this plate, on the, sorry, on the mirror. It comes up. I just realized you could actually turn, turn the mirror all the way to actually, this makes it easier. I was opening the door before, but now this makes it easier. So let's just rotate it all the way. So now here on the inside you can see that there's three places of contact, one, two, and three. And those are the places you, you're pulling the mirror off from. So be careful not to yank from the edge and try to put your hand as close to the to the actual notch as possible. For the removal, I'm just gonna leave the, the actual mirror best in place as possible. Um, or leave the mirror actually kind of hanging a little bit. Uh, be careful not to knock it off and actually it will come off. It's kind of loose, still being held on by the two wires. So if I let it go here, it shouldn't fall. So there's a couple clips. Um, there's clip here, dual clip here, dual clip here, dual clip here. So I found that actually two screwdrivers really helps. Tried with one, didn't really work so well. So, you're gonna take this bottom one and push this clip, bottom clip up and then in. And then you wanna push this one in and it actually releases that part. Next you wanna do that for the top one. Push that up and then in and then release that bottom, the top one too. Push that through. Do that for the last one over here. And then in to see it pop out. Once the clips are un unsnapped, you can pull slowly at the top. Be careful not to pull yank too hard as there's one clip at the bottom here. You can see right there. And then there's actually one more clip still on the inside. Let me see if I can see it. That you still need to unclip. So you're actually gonna have to look inside there and unclip the last one. There's the last clip. That goes right there. Then, there you go. Side mirror off. So if you have a different color or different style, you can like wrap this, paint this, do whatever you want. And putting it right back on. So you're going to want to put it right back on from actually the bottom there because there's a clip that you don't want to snap off that keeps the side in. So you're going to have to place that in first. Go straight and place that in first. There it goes. And then now you just basically just push. Push all the clips back into place. Double check all the clips are in. We're good. Now to put the mirror back on, you really just need to put this one in first. And then as you go around, you put pressure on the outside of the glass to push, put it into the other sockets there and there. 
let's do that first. The main thing you want to do is actually this big one in the middle, you're going to have to put quite a bit of force into the center of the glass. Make sure to not like bend the edges because the other will crack, but you can actually press pretty hard in the middle and close up. And it'll pop back in. And then so it's still kind of loose because the other two are not push locked in, so you can actually push here to lock that one in and then push down at the bottom until that one locks in. Don't push on the edge, but push where right where the contact is. And it pops in. So now when you move back and turn it, it's actually stuck and not loose. Here's that mirror cap all put back on. Black gloss one. Actually the same black gloss one, but imagine if it was white and now it's black. So it took a little longer than expected, but I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to subscribe to more modding videos and have any suggestions, let me know in the comment box down below. As always, have a great day and see you in the next video.